Hello, hello. It's Mallory here from Your Adventure Coach, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own DIY pot cozy. Okay, and obviously, I'll show you towards the end, but once we get um, to the end, every pot is a little bit different. Obviously, like the handles on your pot or the handle on your lid are going to be a little bit different, so we may have to make some adjustments there, but it should be pretty straightforward, hopefully, for you. You can make your own adjustments based on your own pot. All right, so let's get started. First... We're going to start by finding the widest um, part of your pot, like the widest diameter. For mine, that's actually the very top of the pot itself. Some of you, it might be your lid might be the widest point. Um, for mine, though, it's the actual pot rim. So I'm going to start here with this. Grab a Sharpie or any sort of marker, something you can use just to draw the outline of the widest point of your pot on this Reflectix. That's what I'm using here, just Reflectix. You can get it at any hardware store. You can probably get it on Amazon or as well you can get um, Pot Cozy Kits, which is already actually what I have here, the pre-made, pre pre-cut sizes for you to make your own um, Pot Cozy. All right, and then we do one more. So this is going to be the top and bottom of your Pot cozy. And just cut out that shape. Maybe if you notice any big points sticking out, cut those extra bits off. All right, those are just extra. We're gonna discard them. So now we have the top and bottom of our pot cozy. Next, we're gonna need to um, measure the perimeter. All right, so this is gonna be the very um, the side of our pot cozy. So you're gonna have a big a big long piece of Reflectix like this because I don't know how wide your pot is. I want to try to get kits that fit as many people as possible. So we're going to wrap this around and you want it to be able, you don't want it too tight, right? So this right now you can see I'm holding up my whole pot with the strength just of this. So I might go just a little bit looser. Okay, so on my particular pot, I can tell that just my handles are getting caught up on the Reflectix right now. The actual pot itself, this is tight enough right here. So, I am... Oops. Just gonna guesstimate now. If you really want to, you could... Um, measure or like mark this with a marker in some way. I'm just going to eyeball it and oops, perfect. Just cut it. So I have the perimeter of my pot. I have my scissors. I'm actually just going to cut this to fit. Like I said, if you're a little bit more particular, probably could measure and mark that with a marker. This is garbage. You put toss that to the side. So now that here's the perimeter. All right. Um, the next step we're gonna do is actually taping the perimeter. So 
you're going to take your shorter piece of tape here, and this should fit, it's going to ultimately be folded in half, okay, to tape your um, perimeter together. What I recommend doing is folding, and this is foil tape that we're using. This is not duct tape. Not sure if you can tell that on the video or not, but it's foil tape. All right, so it's actually, all of this is um, used for insulation, so it can handle the high temperatures of, you know, boiling water. Obviously, you know, your hot pot, like as you're cooking food, it's going to be very hot. So don't, you don't want to use regular, regular tape or regular duct tape there. And then you can peel back just about half of your tape. Oops. All right, hopefully try to get this to lay a little bit flat. All right, and then this, you want to only lay this down on half of your tape, which is kind of hard when it's not laying flat. So you do want to be careful. Maybe try to have a buddy help you with this. Um, hold down your tape to be flat. So, and you'll see what I mean by this. So I'm only going to set my Reflectix down on half of that so there's still some space. And then I'm going to wrap this other half around. Okay, and you do want to be a little careful here. I'm going to put this down. Okay, and if there's any, or I don't, again, because I'm a little um, OCD about these things, I would totally like cut this off so that it's a smooth edge. Probably wouldn't hurt anything to leave that there, but that's fine. And then now, I'm only going to, now we want to get your tape around the edge, and we can even, you can even lay it down with, with your guard still on it just to make sure that you have it laid down in the right position. So I know that this is about half of the piece of tape on either side of the Reflectix. So now holding that in place with my palm, with my hand, I'm just going to peel off peel off the backing of the tape. And there we go. Alright. So here is my perimeter of my pot cozy. I am going to put this back in there and actually with the lid on it as well. And now I'm just going to measure, um, <laughs> you could do this before you actually cut your piece, but either way it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to measure about an inch or even just eyeball it. I want the pot cozy itself, like if this is the top of my pot, including the lid, all right, including the lid, it goes up to here. I'm going to have a little bit of overlap on my pot cozy. So I'm actually going to cut off a tiny bit of this, just a couple inches, just to, yeah, save some weight, cut that off, save some space as well. So I'm going to say down to about there. actually really easy to cut this Reflectix because of the bubbles, they're all in a line. It's really easy to eyeball a relatively straight line without measuring and marking. All right. Oops, and then this is trash. So here we go. Let's double check. See how this fits. Perfect. Okay. So then this would be the top of my pot. I can use the smaller one since the top is a little bit smaller. All right, and for mine, I have kind of an odd lid on my pot. It has its own handle. Um, some of them, if you have a handle like right in the middle of your pot, you may want to cut a slit in here to accommodate the handle. Um, or if you have one of those like pot grabbers that grabs 
grabs the lid there, um, you're going to need to cut an extra hole on that. I will not do that for my pot because my handle kind of pops off on the side. So now the bottom. Or actually, let me leave that in there just for convenience sake. Okay. So we're going to want the bottom in there. But this is probably the trickiest part of all of this. I'm going to leave my pot in there just so that this pot cozy has a little bit of a shape to it. Um, I think that will make this a little easier. But so now we grab the big long piece of tape. This is going to be your perimeter, okay? The perimeter of your tape. So, and again, I may only take off a tiny, oh, this is very sticky. So, which is what, where I was going with this is I'm only going to take off a portion of the backing of the tape just in case to kind of protect myself here um, so that I don't want that other end to be sticking to things or sticking to the counter. All right. Okay. So once you have this laid out kind of straight, you're going to want to lay your pot cozy on this. And again, about Imagine that there's a line going right through the middle of this tape, and you only want this part of the pot cozy to be on half of it, right? Because you want the other half of the tape to be able to overlap over the bottom. Okay, so then I'm just gonna put that on there, and then we're gonna roll this along. Okay, leaving yourself some space. Okay, and I'm going to take off the backing as I go because, like I said, this tape can get kind of out of hand and I don't want it to stick to anything that it's not supposed to stick to. Okay, so let me go all the way around. I'm actually just going to cut it there. I have a little bit left over. Could save it, throw it away. Okay, and then I'm going to take my bottom of my pot cozy, place it on the inside there. And then I'm just gonna fold these edges over of the foil tape. Fold the edges over, and then you can turn it upside down and actually use, my pot is in there right now, so I'm using the pot to kind of push down on the edges of the bottom of my pot cozy. And use your hands to kind of press out any crinkles but there you go so your bottom is sealed okay and let's test this out here's my top I have my lid on there's my top I can kind of crunch this around I may here so what I'm gonna do actually there's a lot more stuff here that I would like to do to accommodate my pot handles. Okay, so I can't get this out. I want to cut some slits in the side of this so you can see my pot has these handles. I'm going to be able to have those out while it's in the pot cozy. So I'm just going to cut that out even right where the tape is. And again, I'm just eyeballing this. If you want to be really particular about it, I'm sure measuring with the measuring tape and marking would be much more accurate. Okay, but for example, you see what I did there? My handles even go out a little bit so I can put that back up. Then I can access my handles as well. thing. I 
actually think to make this fit a little bit more snugly and keep the heat in even a little better, I'm going to use a little bit of my leftover tape and actually tape over the sides here. You see I cut some slits. I'm going to tape over the sides so that it's like shaped a little bit inward. Um, off just so that I don't have any accidents with the tape. Okay, and then I have one more. There we go. That is a pot cozy if I ever saw one. Alright, best of luck to you. Like I said, these little extra attachments at the end and even to, um, I guess <laughs> the roof of your pot cozy may look a little bit different to you depending on how the lid of your pot is. Um, if you have a different style of pot than mine, you may have to make a few minor adjustments like that, um, or like how I did here. And yeah, let me know how it goes. Feel free to tag me, leave me a review, um, share pictures of your own pot cozy if you had to make any adjustments. And until next time, happy hiking!